It's been 18 hours now. <laughs> uh, a lot has happened <laughs> since the time you won and as you sit here. Uh, what's that been like, that time? I'm sure it's been a flurry of activity. It's been a whirlwind, for yeah. sure. Yeah, but, not a lot of sleep. But still enough time to reflect on all of the people that got us to this point and prepared us for that moment and the tremendous support we've received from Canada. Uh, we weren't alone when we took the ice, thankfully, because it was a, a scary position to be in. Um, but we sort of just looked at each other and said, well, we'll skate for one another, and we enjoyed every single moment of it. Scott, you watched those images fly by, and uh, you know, in the space of about four and a half minutes, uh, there was 20 years and all that you had done together. What were you thinking as you looked at those? Well, I just, uh, I think the biggest thing that's struck us in the last 18 hours, 24 hours, is that we've been so fortunate. Um, fortunate to have the support of Canadians, but fortunate to have each other and to have shared this journey together. And uh, it's been an honour and, and such a privilege to represent Canada on the world stage and to be able to have a, a shot at three different Olympic Games. I mean, that's pretty special and a lot has to go right, but uh, you know, it, it's pretty, pretty neat to look back at our journey and know that you've done all that uh, with your best friend. Um, why do you think Canadians, Tessa, love your story? What is it about it that makes time stand still, that makes all those people watch? I think it's easy to fall in love with our sport. I mean, we love ice dancing because there's a delicate balance between art and athleticism, and we love storytelling. So hopefully we're portraying themes that are universal and emotions that people can really relate to, and, and you know, we're telling something that is, you know, easily relatable and um, you know we're honored that people do feel engaged and invested in our career, and, and we're very grateful for that. You talked about the partnership and her being your best friend. Um, where does this connection come from? We know that you were put together as very young people <laughs> and you've survived that in yeah. many ways, but flourished because of it. But there are little unspoken things that occur. Um, there's a hug, there's a wink. Mm -hmm. um, where does that connection come from, Scott? Oh, I think it is in... In many ways, it's something that we've been blessed with, um, but it's also something that we're extremely proud of because we've worked on it. Um, a lot has to happen when you're put together at, at seven and nine. I mean, it's kind of like an arranged marriage. I think our parents, we think our parents, maybe were a little crazy to let us leave home so early, to have us go to Michigan uh, in a, two hours away, but in a, another country at 15 and 17. We grew up together. Um, we've been through so much together. And, um, you know, I guess competing under all these situations, kind of being a craziness of a home games, it brings you together. And I know that we've relied on each other through, through so much. So, um, and I think that's what brings us the most joy is is kind of pulling each other through. I mean, that, that was such a fantastic song. It's not fair. I mean, I'm sleep deprived and I have to <laughs> watch a, and listen to Jim's beautiful voice. But uh, yeah, I, I just think it's it's been a special time for the two of us. But you know, we have worked on that, and that's what we're most proud of, and that's the story that we want Canadians to take home is uh, we care about each other uh, deeply, and we're so proud of our business relationship. Business relationship, uh, but also, Tessa, relationship with the Olympic Games. I know I've asked you about this repeatedly, and we've talked about it repeatedly since you announced your comeback. This was not about winning another world championship. This was not about saying we are the greatest of all time. You always said this was about the Olympics. Why did the Olympics matter that much? It's a tough thing to put into words. And even as we're here for our third time, we've been talking a lot about the fact that the games just don't lose their magic. You know, we're so inspired by the incredible Canadian team, and it's a very close knit uh, group of athletes. And there's always a story, you know, there's always someone doing something remarkable. We're invested in so many other storylines and, and you guys are doing a great job of telling those stories, but it's something special to wear the maple leaf on your back and, and carry Canada with you and, and to represent your country on the world stage. 
these are the moments we live for, and this is exactly why we've put in two decades worth of work to, to get to this point. Indeed, the moments that you live for, both of you, um, you're now three-time Olympic champions. Uh, you've won uh, five Olympic medals, the most decorated figure skaters in Olympic history. But in the end, what you did was you changed the landscape of your sport, and for that, your peers are extremely grateful. When I hear Tessa and Scott, I think phenomenal talent, amazing perfection. Tessa and Scott have been my inspiration, my idols since I was a little girl. Scott, awesome friend, awesome guy, Tessa, like just an awesome role model, I think, for really anyone in skating. I remember seeing them and thinking, wow, that's a fresh young team that's it's gonna set the world on fire. I think that they really are one of the best of all time. Over to you, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. Olympiski champione Tessa Virtu i Scott Moyer. Their level of expertise is staggering. Ice dance sort of lost its way. Tessa and Scott brought Ice Dance back to the mainstream, back to the average fan, and brought so many uh, new fans to the sport. Tessa and Scott have a kind of intimacy on the ice, which makes them unique. Yet it's not a, an intimacy that excludes anyone. In fact, the audience is drawn in totally to their story. I think that they'll be remembered in such an incredible way forever, not just by Canada, but by the world. They're in a league of their own and brought something that you'll remember. I've talked to all the other skaters in the world, and they're like one team where whoever is watching them become lost in the moment. And that's something we all strive for so much, and they do it so well every single time that they go out. It's really incredible. There's no doubt in my mind that we wouldn't be where we are without them. They don't want to do all that they need to do to win. They want to go above and beyond that. And they show that every single year that they come out with this amazing, unique material. If I did have the opportunity to speak to Tess and Scott at that moment that they made the announcement that they were leaving competition, it would be pretty simple. I think I would just say thank you. I think all of Canada is holding their breath, waiting for the next couple. I know I am. Thank you. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, the reigning Olympic champions. I, I just think all you can do is thank them. Nothing greater than the praise of your peers. How does that make you feel? Well, I mean, that's the, the biggest compliment we can get, I guess. Uh, but it's it's perfect, because I think we have something special in, in Canadian skating, and that's our Canadian skating family. And um, it's so special to see Tracy Wilson on the screen and talking about us, because she's been a huge part of our journey. We've relied on Tracy at various times in our career for guidance. or just for a wink or a, a quick little squeeze of our hands. And, um, you know, people like that are so important in, in your journey. And uh, it's pretty neat to, to be able to sit there and, and get praise from her because she's someone that we truly respect. And I think um, everybody in that video, I mean, we're so lucky to have had the opportunity, but it's only because of the people who have come before us. And uh, hopefully there's some young kids somewhere sitting at home that will watch us and, and, and feel the same way as we do now. But uh, we know that we couldn't be where we are uh, without the champions who came before us.